Hi guys, Bruce here. Well this nice little Honda HR214 was given to me by an old, a guy who's a little bit older than me. We worked in the same area and he's moved to a condo like a, a ground level condo and he has a grass service come over and cut his little strip of grass. So he's given me this Honda. It hasn't been started in a couple of years. He says that it has to be primed to start it. Now that was two years ago. Cool, eh? Imagine having something like that given to you. Alright. Uh, I could not start this just pulling the cable. Let's just try it again. Put it on choke. I am going to uh, just give a little drink. Where's the, the juice drinker? Excuse me, I gotta go in front of you. The garage is crowded. Let's see if that makes any difference. So it won't start unless you prime it, but once it gets going, it'll stay going. So that's telling me that there's a plug in the carburetor somewhere. I would think in the idle circuit, eh? Because on full throttle it does run. Uh, this, in case you guys didn't know, this, it's a three, this is a three controlled system, well actually four. Throttle, choke, right there. Uh, Blade on and off, and then the drive when you squeeze this forward. So you put, so you want control of the blade before you activate the go. Cool, eh? So these are really, really, really popular and old mowers. So we'll see what we can do with this one in the future. Okay, this one I think you saw running, but just barely, right? It starts on choke and then you have to tease it to get it to stay running. I'll just do that one more time for you. A little bit of juice. Yeah, that should make her go. I just think it needs a car clean and a lot of adjustments. Okay, the next one should make her go. Okay, that horrible rattle, uh, sometimes I think it's, <laughs> sometimes I think it's the uh, clutch and sometimes I think it's that metal baffle I got on the back there or, the, or the, the grass scraper. I don't know. But it's time for it to go on the hoist, I know that. I'd like 
to know what that rattle is. It sounds death, deathly, doesn't it? But, but it sounds like tin, not engine. And Honda's, Honda engines back in these days weren't made of tin. So let's just do this. Change the dangle. And I'm going to just tilt it back so I can have a look. Oh, she needs to be clean. There we go. I'm going to get my hammer and tap around and see if I hear any rattling besides this thing. Unplug the spark plug. Whoa, my muffler's hot. So something's not right. So now the blade is is uh, clamped down. This should turn the whole thing over. Yeah, it's still there, right? Unless this is upside down. It's not right there. Air! You guys are into me, right? You get into this. I'm gonna go close the door or two here. See if the lighting improves. Oh yeah. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Motor Wars! Why is that blade flopping? Might have to go look at an old video. That's what I'll do. I got it. So don't mind me, I had to go on uh, YouTube and I went to Bruce's shop and I found a video that shows how this goes together. This plate obviously doesn't go here, it goes here. To, to uh, close up the space between said blade and clutch. Cool, huh? Now we're going to take this all apart again and sharpen it and all that stuff. But we don't want that ungodly rattle. Alright, it's going to be a little hard to start or not. I don't know, but we'll put a choke. Now let's just see if we have that ungodly rattle gone. One more. One po- oh. <laughs> I do this all the time. It's probably gonna fire right up now. Clutch, come with me. One step closer. 
And thanks to Bruce's shop, we found the right spot. The video is uh, uh, HR 214 blade clutch. Something like that. So now I just have to think about this. I'll be right back, my friends. All right, my friends, I'm going to try something. Just because this is an old, just because it's an old Honda, the gaskets are old. The, you know, everything's old, right? This is an old machine. They don't. I don't think they put dates on. There's all kinds of numbers, but no dates. So I've turned off the gas to the carburetor. It has an on-off right on the carburetor, but not in the fuel line. So if I have to take the carburetor off, I'll have to stick a hemostat on and squish the fuel line. But right now, I'm just going to pop the bowl off this guy. It's going to lose a little bit of fuel, but not much because the carburetor is turned off. Nothing's changed. Oh, a little bit of crud. We'll take out the seal. Oh, look at that. The uh, the seal's not sealing all the way. Oh, there we go. Had it the wrong way. The wrong way. So I'm going to do this. This is a I do I try this trick a lot. Sometimes I don't show it. I'm just using up a little bit of leftover gas to clean the clean the hood. So this was given to me by once again an old coworker, right? I live in a small city, and there was 500 of us working for the same company. So I'm just going to try with all my little heart to get the jet out of here. And you never know, it might have been it might have been worked on too many times before in its life, right? There we go. It's coming out. The hard part with this is keeping the pressure up. Now if that doesn't work, now that we've got it loosened, we can go to something like this. The jet is working its way down. This is now hitting the deck. Hit the deck! Did it come out? Yes, it did. Yahoo! Okay, so this is the emulsion tube, and this is the jet. Light! Work! Angle! Go! Carb spray! Guys, I'm going to just uh, clean this emulsion tube up. Are you with me? Kind of, almost, but not quite, right? Right here, right here, right here. I don't know if I like that little tray there. I'm going to go to the big one. It's open. Not all of them. Okay. Where's my little poker? I'm on the side with five holes right now. No, it's four holes. Three, four. And then we'll go five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I apologize to all you guys that do a lot of this. Um, 
because you, you know, oh my gosh, here goes Bruce doing another carburetor clean. But this isn't a full carburetor clean, this is just pulling the jet out, right? Good. Now we got some flow. Good. Now the, the jet. Backwards first. Oh, I'm going to have a look in the light just to see if there's going to be any difference. Shouldn't have to uh, increase the jet size on this one. But it is a little raspy. Let's just get the kit. Still a pretty small hole. I'm going to go up one more. Yeah, that's perfect. Slightly bigger engine, eh? The last one I did was 140 cc, and I used the one downsize from this one. So that sounds about right. Now, when all this is going on, remember to wash the. I don't think there's any brass brass uh, filings in there because it's so old. It's probably just crud. There we go. Okay, it looks a lot better. Now, all right, we're gonna stick this back together again. Emulsion tube goes in like that. The jet goes in with the screwdriver slot down, of course. I'm not gonna muck around with the uh, idle circuit unless I have to. That's tight. Now we can use this guy, bring him in from the back. Tighten up once, tighten up twice, and tighten up three times. Can you see that? There. Okay. Now the hard part. I'm going to clean the bowl. And then we're going to see if she's got any go in it. I'm just going to start and then you guys can you'll get an idea of what I'm doing. Right over here. Little guy sucking the few out of there. If you want to watch, I suppose it's interesting to watch though, isn't it? Oh, and I always use a screwdriver or something to hold this tube. Alrighty, so I let some gas out of there, out of the uh, bleed valve on the on the bowl, and now we're going to try and see if she starts. Joke.
So around 1500 RPMs for an idle and at, what was that? 3270 for a high speed uh, run without the clutch in. So that's really good. So, hi there guys, we're getting somewhere. I just, I just cleaned the plug, it was just like new. The problem with this mower is that it sat for two years, right? So it's got new gas, air filter's good, plug's cleaned. I just got to change the oil and, and sharpen that blade that was that had the upside down adapter. Thanks. Okay, you didn't have to watch it run for a half an hour. It was actually five minutes. So now we're going to drain the oil. Let's see if I can aim this just right. Put, change your plans right during the filming of Bruce's shot. Mm. You get to witness the spilled oil if it if all goes bad, right? Then it's got a blade clutch you can grab underneath it. Let's let her drain. We'll come back when, ooh. Perfect. We're not gonna move anything. Oh yes we are, we were just over there, right? So, do I use air? Yes I do. I got, a, I got the tools, I might as well use them, right? If this comes on, we'll wait for it. Good show, let's do this. So this is where the big noise was coming from, because I'll, I'll just remind you. And remember, this has a blade clutch. For those of you that might understand, the engine runs, the blade does not spin. And before when I got this mower, it was sitting like this. And the blade was just supposed to go like uh, doo -doo -doo, yep, it's supposed to go on like that. Now we're going to sharpen this bad boy. It's been sharpened a few times, but it's in pretty good condition. Let's get this blade on. is uh, 40 foot pounds. That's about right. Also means that the next guy can get them off. Okay, let's straighten them up. We might as well put them on the cart, eh? I will measure what we took out. Ten thirty. Pre measured at five hundred milliliters. Okay, thanks. All right, folks. So now the uh, rewind has been just a little bit sticky, and I think it's an eight millimeter on those bolts. Plus, it doesn't hurt to have a look under. We'll get a look underneath, eh? Oop. Yeah, come with me. Now, I have been having problems when I put you guys up here on the bench because I am aiming the camera too high. Might be my new ish tripod, eh? So there we go. Thank 
system. We use two jars. That way we can maintain an element of uh, reduced spillage. There you go. Spilt it anyway. That's crazy. All right, here we go. That thing's washed up pretty good. Start these three, and then we'll zap them down. sharper blade, it's got the oil changed, plugs have been clean, great air filter. Okay guys, so what is my last thing I want to do? Oh, the back wheels are really, really rough. I'm going to go over to the hoard and see if I can find any, I don't think I'll have any, but I don't think, I'm going to see if I have any Honda wheels. Alright guys, uh, the tires on the back of the Honda mower are pretty bad, but the fronts have the same tread. So on the HR214, you can change. I'm just changing the back to the front. I know the fronts aren't very good, but they don't take any load. As you can see here, the fronts are in pretty good condition. 